Alrighty guys, it's microblading day. If you guys don't know, I talked about this a few days ago on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on my Instagram, make sure you head over there. I'll have my handle somewhere around here. But I talked about finally going in for a microblading consultation. And I went in, I asked all the questions that I needed to ask. I'm going to Lisa's Brow Teak today. I've seen all of her work on Instagram and she has, she does such a good job. So I'm really excited to see what she can do today. Um, during the consultation she pretty much told me to be realistic about my expectations because um, currently they don't make a brow tint or the brow shade dark enough for me but we were able to figure out some way to kind of darken the tint and um, make it just a little bit darker to see if it would work for my skin tone um, when I went in she was just like oh wow you're actually a lot darker than I was expecting because I told her like I'm actually really dark skinned and um, I'm not sure I've had people tell me before that that microblading might not work on my skin tone and stuff like that but she was willing to try and figure out a way to make it work and plus a lot of you guys have been asking um, if I would ever consider microblading because you guys see what I'm working with it's nothing <laughs> well it's something but not enough so um, and I hate doing my brows so I figured let me give it a try and we'll see how it goes we'll show you guys the whole process of like mixing the pigments to kind of make it darker for any of you guys that are around my skin tone or just trying to consider that or have been told like it's not gonna work I mean honestly we still don't know if it's gonna work if the pigments gonna stay and um, be visible so we'll see but I don't know she was really sweet and really nice and she's actually coming in on her day off because we are filming she wanted to make sure we had enough time to get good quality content so I really appreciate that she didn't have to come in on her day off and yeah I'm really excited are you excited babe mm -hmm. Anthony's gonna be helping us film today because she said she likes to um, she wants me to stay pretty still so I really can't be moving too much so he's gonna be here helping us film when she's doing like the actual blading and stuff. So I'll see you guys there. This is such a cute office, you guys. I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. So cute. And this is Lisa. Hi. So we are here with Hello. Lisa, and she's gonna tell you guys all about her experience and everything that we're pretty much gonna be doing today. And she's gonna run us through really quickly on what a typical microblading uh, procedure. It's called a procedure, right? It is procedure. Okay, procedure looks like. Because um, this is a very long procedure. It's about two and a half hours, you said? So Correct. She's going to tell us what we're going to be doing for those two and a half hours. First thing we want to do is uh, go a little bit over it. Um, so, like Nima said, it's two and a half hours. The way I uh, build it is first uh, we go over um, what to expect. Um, what is the client trying to achieve? Um, I always try to give the right expectations to the client, uh, explain what microblading uh, is and how it's different from the tattooing. We're gonna um, learn a little bit how the skin uh, heals and I do provide my clients with aftercare kits and the instructions. I stay close to my clients. They can always text me, call me if they have any concerns. Ink is very important uh, quality of it because a really poor quality of ink is not really gonna last long it's not gonna stay the true color after a certain time it's gonna change to either ashy brown or something it depends there's so many colors but um, knowing what's in the pigment is very important because uh, if they are actually some heavy metals some Zinc, some irons in it, then cobbled, then later in some point, you might need to get an x ray, you know, and finding out that you actually can get it because it might burn your skin. Anytime you go get an x ray or CAT scan, anything like that, you're gonna have to fill out a form where it's asking if you have any tattoos and if it's on your face you want to be really careful not to burn the skin and not to change the color of your pigment mm -hmm. during that x-ray i use biotech half of it is organic it's not tested in animals and like i said it's um heavy metals free and it heals really nicely um there's 
I never had anyone reacted to it and um, it stays true color. This is gonna be our symmetry line. Do it like this um, the shape yes right here just a little rounder rounder so it's not so like sharp mm -hmm. absolutely most important thing when you're creating when you're mapping your brows they have to look like yours they have to look natural this is all about restoring your natural look it's not about creating something that you never were aware of would be now it's time to mix the pigment we're trying to create the most darkest color. We have a little challenge, but I think it's gonna look really good. How are you feeling? I don't know. <laughs> she's talking. So she's still kind of. I'm still alive. <laughs> no. I mean, sometimes I overhype like pain so that mm -hmm. when it's actually happening, um, it feels like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. This one, it's not, it's not easy, but it's not, undo it's not not doable. Right. So what is your level? I think this was a solid seven. Okay. Here are our brows. We got them all microbladed, and we have this last step of microblading a mask. That's what we call it when we apply pigment over the strokes and let it completely absorb. crazy. What? Yeah, brows. Do I? <laughs> That's crazy. I know. I saw them earlier. She did so good. Yeah. All right. So now we need to talk about aftercare. Uh, first thing I want to do is apply a little bit of aftercare cream on mm -hmm. um, the brows. And we don't need a lot. We just need enough to coat them and to soothe them because really um, the main source is the oxygen. We want the skin to be able to breathe. We cleanse the skin five times in the first 24 hours because that's when the skin is actually drained during the first 24 hours. And I know some microblading artists don't send anything home with the clients afterwards. They just tell them what to go and get. And I'll, in my case, I like for the client to go home with a kit and making sure that she uses correct things and not riding around and looking for stuff and not finding that. Two things I want you to remember. From the moment you have your eyebrows microbladed, you want to hold on to them, you want them to stay longer, you want to use only gentle cleansers around them, not just the, during the first week, but mm -hmm. during this the entire time, the entire time, this is it. Your eyebrows are microbladed. You don't want to use anything harsh, things that you want to avoid. Definitely no sweating for the okay. first seven days. No sweating. No excessive workouts. Okay. Sweat is number one uh, enemy of the microblading. Okay. Especially on a freshly opened skin. It's right on your forehead. You can get around it. Very important not to sunbathe in the, in the first two weeks. And it could be also tanning beds are included. And when I say sunbathing, meaning literally trying to get sun on your face. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about going to work and um, 
you know, to the store, which is good habit if you wear a hat. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of covered up. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So she's going to tell you guys where you guys can find her, her new location, and her website and everything. And I'll also have it linked down below in the description. I've been an esthetician for 14 years. I've been doing microblading for the last two and a half years. This is my new location. I've been here since February. Uh, it is in North Dallas. I'm on 17 to 18 Preston Road in Suite 3100. So I have a website. It's www.lee.com lisasbrowtick.com and um, you can also find me on Instagram but if you go on my website on the home page at the very bottom of the page you'll see my Instagram icon and my Facebook so that's easy you don't have to search for it you just follow me right there so that's it for this video thank you so much Lisa You're you so did welcome. so good my thank you so pleasure. much